Hey there comic book fans. Got something for us to take a look at tonight. And this is The Originals by Dave, Dave Gibbons. I almost called him Dave Stevens. Um, this came out back in 2004. I, uh, there was a, rec a receipt still in here. 2004. So I, I mean, I got it in 2006. It's hard to believe that 13 years have passed since I gave this a read. It also had in the back, I guess there was a special ash can edition, which was just uh, a little chapter from it. I remember getting this on sale in October. So I must've got this back in 2004 and stuck it in the back. Uh, but I remembered really liking this when I read it. Uh, so I've, and I've been meaning to pull it off my shelf and reread it again, but somehow 13 years have gone by since I did that. But I'm glad I pulled it out and read it again, because it's uh, really good. First of all, I have to say the, the um, plot of it is okay. It's really the design and art and stuff like that I like. It's, uh, the plot of it is kind of a coming-of-age story, and it, it kind of riffs on... I don't know a ton about the mods and the rockers in London in the 60s and 70s, I think it was, but there's two rival groups of teenagers, the mods and the rockers, who sometimes uh, got in trouble with each other in 1970s London or something like this. And in this one we have the originals are the mods, and um, they're, that's who we're on the side of here, and the rockers are the dirt. They're dressed up in, and it's sort of a sci-fi future one. And it's just, you know, it, it starts out with the two kids spray painting their, they, they, these two, I think they're like 16 or 17 here. They, the story ends just before the, the, this one guy's 18th birthday. So they aspire to be the originals. They want to join that gang. And it's just the design of it, the drawing's nice, the storytelling, the design of everything is excellent. And it's, it's just, the, the, those are the originals back there. That They got a great, here they come. This is the sci-fi part. They're on these hover bikes. But it's just really nice, the way it captures the headlights. Then, we, then a great page turn right here, and we see a double page spread of the originals. And these guys are teenagers or slightly older. Uh, there's some drug dealing going on too and stuff like that. As uh, everybody, this is all about teenagers partying and enjoying music and stuff like that. But man, uh, it's just like I said, it's. I, I wish this were bigger. This is smaller than a regular comic. I, I, I want a treasury edition size of this art because it's just so nice. I love that he, he go such loving detail in those bikes too. But it's just really, really nice story. Like I said, here they are. Here are the, the, these guys are the dirt. They look like rock and roll guys with their leather jackets and such. They're the enemies in this. But, you know, they're all just teenagers trying to get by in this weird sci-fi world. And the originals all have these nice, long, puffy trench coats with these helmets on their head. That's what they wear. Which is kind of interesting. And then we go into some of the, what's up, big, big brawl here. All the art is just so spectacular. I really, really like the art on this book. Um, then we get into the, you know, it's about music too. So we we'll flip for, and I, and I love these, um, they come up with these checkered outfits. Let's see if we get a good, I like like the skirt on her and the stripes on that guy's uh, suit. So there's a lot of that going on. Yeah, here's the the dance hall, so we can see all the different all the different outfits on those guys. There, checks and stripes and suits on the, and suits and their shirts and everything. I just think that's so well designed. There's a lot of really nice design in the artwork in this. There's a nice dancing page. We can see. Uh, I wonder why they chose to go with black and white in this. I don't know. But just, you know, I, I, I love the shot, of the double shot of that suit, that diamond pattern suit. But yeah, just oh, look, at, look at the design. on This This is them dancing and doing ecstasy or something. So we have, have all these nice uh, 
black and white, positive and negative space. Look at it. Just a really nice dance sequence. You don't see a lot of uh, dance sequences in comics, do you? <laughs> there they are, giving us the two people against the wall shots and moving the camera around a little bit. Just nice, nice stuff. Um, one of these out. Oh, talking about the clothes they have to buy, so there's some of the... <laughs> Riley cloth. Guaranteed daz. I think... Well, that's right. I think there's some slang going on in the writing, too. I think their fancy suits are called dazzles. Nice car right there. There's a lot of thought went into the design in this. There's a nice... Take a look at that. Futuristic 1950s chrome hover bike. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Full shot of the guy in that suit. Some more, some more checks and suits down here. Ah, nice. Another. This is this is where he meets his. Get the glare off that. This is where he meets a girl. The love interest. Just nice, nice artwork. I, I really, really enjoy this artwork in this. I've actually. This is the first time I've read it in 13 years, but at different times I've pulled it down off the um, shelf to look at. Hey, that that looks like he was using an Arthur Fonzarelli reference there, a little Henry Winkler. A really nice book. I said, I, the story is, you know, the story with the rivalry between these two, uh, the dirt and the, um, the originals, and of course the the girlfriend is like, oh my goodness, you're such teenage boys. Stop fighting them with each other. Which you kind of expect, because why are they fighting with each other? Have a good time, will you? Just, wow, look at it. Nice, what is that, eight-panel grid page of the guys moving within the stage. Well, since... Dave Gibbons is the guy who did The Watchmen. We all know he's a good artist, but I, I really, really like the art in this one. And like I said, he wrote it himself and did a nice job with the writing. But for me, it's the, it's the overall, it's the writing of the art and the design that really, really gets me into this story. Nice. Nice shot of, uh, there's our lead character and his girl driving around on their hover bikes. Then, of course, the climax comes at this big dome. Well, not quite the climax, but the big event of this is some vacation dome where you know, here, here come all the originals riding on their bikes. And we'll leave the rest to, well, you can read, you can read the rest yourself, but I gotta say, you know, this is a Excellent, excellent book. We'll flip it. I mean, that, those panels right there are something special. Dave Gibbons is just a, he's a master storyteller. You know, I, man, I'm, I'm trying to think of what he's done since then. I haven't read any Dave Gibbons in a long, long time. I don't, maybe even since this. Hold on, I'll have to look up and see what he's done because I don't even know. There's a nice shot of them reflected in the chrome. I'm telling you, I can look at this thing all day. I can flip through this all day. He, he, he captures, he's got a nice simplicity to the faces that are very well designed. Nice face on her. It's about, um, he knows what's important and he knows what to put down. I'm, just, I'm gonna have to do a video. I'm just rereading uh, Drifter right now too, which I'm enjoying. But sometimes the art in that is too much. It's so illustrative. It's too much. And I think that a lot of modern comics sometimes get too much. They they draw the cabinets, you know, beside the guy as much as they draw the guy. And sometimes it's like, you know what? Leave those cab. Leave a little less detail in those cabinets. They're not that important. <laughs> Man, Dave Gibbons knows what's important. But well, there you go. Hope oh, there's the back of it. Never had a buzz like it. No UPC on this. There must have been a wrap that came with it. I don't know. I got. I think I got it used. Like I like, like I said, I got it in 2006 off of Amazon. So it must have been a used copy. But from the co-creator of Watchmen special. Let's take a look at the yeah, the. Let's not the one with a starker white paper on the. Uh, 
preview. Let me just look at that for a second. Let's flip it open. Now I want to compare. I love comparing and contrasting printings. There we go. Now it looks about as white. It's just the cover that's less white. Printing's a little slightly different print. Let's see. But it looks about as white. I, it's only the cover that the uh, they went with all. You can see the the cover on the rear. Look, look at her hair in both of them. Duh. Wonder why they chose to gray out that instead of going with the all white one. But anyway, there you go. The originals. You can probably find it on Amazon or somewhere just for a couple of bucks. It's from Vertigo. Came out in 2004. You, I don't know, probably get it for under $10 these days. Hardcover, original graphic novel by Dave Gibbons.